Hundreds of millions of inpatient and outpatient surgical and non-surgical procedures are performed annually anywhere in the world. During these procedures, patients entrust their well-being to the medical professionals with whom they come in contact. They trust that all necessary measures have been taken to prevent any possible harm. Therefore, it is imperative that appropriate steps are taken to ensure a safe and hygienic environment, starting with an optimal reprocessing of reused surgical instruments. The objective of the instrument reprocessing cycle in central sterile departments of hospitals is to prevent hospital-acquired infections and thus help ensure the safety of patients and staff. The reprocessing cycle basically consists of five steps. It starts with the instruments being used in the OR and subsequently transported to the CSSD for appropriate decontamination, cleaning, and disinfection. After that, the instruments will be thoroughly checked for cleanliness and proper functioning, packed and sterilized. The reprocessing cycle ends with the clean instruments being stored under sterile conditions and starts again with their reuse in the next surgery. Among these five basic reprocessing steps, thorough cleaning is the most crucial because only properly cleaned residue-free instruments can be safely disinfected and sterilized. We at Borer Medical focus on advanced cleaning and disinfection processes. To achieve optimal cleaning results, various factors need to be considered. According to the Sinner Circle, there are four main factors. Chemical and mechanical action, as well as process time and temperature, have to be carefully coordinated. Mechanics. The mechanical action of the cleaning process can be achieved either manually by brushing, wiping in soaking baths, by ultrasonic force in ultrasonic baths, or automated by water jets applied during automated cleaning in washer disinfectors through the spraying arms and nozzles. Time. The time defines the total duration of the appropriate reprocessing cycle. Respectively, the duration for each step which boosts the particular cleaning efficiency of a given detergent. Temperature. The dedicated appropriate temperature for each particular cleaning concentrate promotes different cleaning activities, including its detergency, wetting power, and sequestering. Only the right cleaning temperature achieves the best cleaning results. Chemistry. The chemistry is represented by two different components. On one hand, the different types of detergents that can be applied for the washing step. On the other hand, the quality of the water, including its hardness and purity, that may impact the cleaning result positively or negatively. The instruments can be contaminated in various ways. For instance, with proteins, fats, carbohydrates, blood, skin, bone residues, excrement, and microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, viruses, or prions, or as depicted previously, possibly with mineral deposits as well. Depending on the type and intensity of dirt to be removed, the type of materials, that is, the material compatibility and the complexity of instruments to be cleaned, an appropriate detergent needs to be carefully selected. While inorganic residues are most effectively removed by acidic detergents, organic residues are most effectively removed from surfaces by strong alkaline detergents, as shown in the current graph. In addition, material compatibility is also an increasingly important issue in the reprocessing of surgical instruments. In contrast to cleaning performance, the material compatibility is highest around a neutral pH value and declines both towards the acidic as well as the alkaline side. This is why formulators strive to develop milder alkaline or neutral detergents, which at the same time provide a similar cleaning performance as strong alkaline detergents, but with a substantially higher material compatibility. Examples of such successful developments are modern multi-enzymatic one-component cleaners or enzymatic two-component cleaning systems. The cleaning process is crucial for safe reprocessing because only residue-free instruments can be safely and properly disinfected. The aim of the pre-cleaning is to remove any contamination and coarse contaminants from the used instruments. The cleaning and disinfecting can basically be done manually or automatically 
where an automated cleaning and disinfecting is not possible, the mechanical action has to be accomplished by hand. Ultrasonic baths are often used as a mechanical complement to the manual process, since these are particularly useful for removing stubborn dirt. For the final disinfection, for instance, for sensitive instruments like endoscopes, high-level disinfectants are normally used. The automated cleaning and disinfecting within a washer disinfector is much more efficient and achieves the best validated results. A typically recommended WD cleaning process, including thermal disinfection, basically consists of six major steps, as demonstrated with Deconex Twin Basic and Deconex Twinzyme Z. It starts with a cold pre-rinse for three minutes, followed by the main cleaning step, consisting of the dosing of Deconex Twin Basic at approximately 30 degrees Celsius and the dosing of Deconex Twinzyme Z at approximately 38 degrees Celsius and a subsequent active cleaning for five minutes at 55 degrees Celsius. This active cleaning step is commonly followed by a first intermediate rinsing with warm water for approximately one minute and a second rinsing with cold water for another one minute. The thermal disinfection step, including the dosing of a rinsing and drying aid, Deconex 64 Nutra Dry, at approximately 80 degrees Celsius, is performed at 90 degrees Celsius for five minutes. The WD cleaning process is finalized with a drying step lasting approximately 10 minutes. For thermal labial instruments, such as some anesthetic utensils and flexible endoscopes, a different WD cleaning process with chemothermal disinfection is recommended. Similarly, and as before, the WD process starts with a cold pre-rinse for approximately three minutes, followed by the main cleaning step, consisting of the dosing of Deconex 23 Nutrizyme at approximately 30 degrees Celsius, and a subsequent active cleaning for five minutes at 58 degrees Celsius. This active cleaning step is commonly followed by an intermediate rinse with warm water for approximately one minute. The chemothermal disinfection step, including the dosing of Deconex Endomatic at approximately 45 degrees Celsius, is performed at 58 to 60 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Thereafter, a second cold rinse for approximately one minute, followed by a final rinsing at approximately 58 degrees Celsius for one minute, and a drying step lasting for approximately 10 minutes, finalizes this special cleaning and disinfecting process. Finally, the proper care of instruments is important as it helps preserve their proper function and prolongs their life cycle. Surface and hand disinfection. Other important measures to ensure safe and hygienic procedures within the clinical setting are the professional cleaning and disinfecting of surfaces as well as proper hand disinfection. Borer Medical's product line also offers a range of certified surface and hand disinfectants. The factors that influence the choice of a proper surface and hand disinfectant are material compatibility, time of contact, and spectrum of activity. Borer Medical specializes in the cleaning and disinfecting of surgical instruments, surfaces, and hands. Our core competence is recommending the right reprocessing process to ensure the best possible cleaning and disinfecting results. Borer Medical, located in the heart of Switzerland and operating throughout the world through its distribution network in more than 40 countries. Borer Medical, advanced cleaning and disinfecting solutions for the clinical environment.